right here at Walmart. Some trucks lined up like soldiers down here. I guess staying in front of the night. Parking here, camping overnight, 18 wheelers, truck drivers. And I'm right here in front of the garden center. Right here off Fort Henry Drive and lovely Kingsport, Tennessee. And what's the big old getting ready to talk about? None other than Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. I love to buy them in the 12 ounce uh, glass bottles. Uh, they taste a lot better than glass bottles and let's do a review on the Coca-Cola. 355 milliliters. Can't beat it with a stick. Coca-Cola. Hope everyone had a wonderful day because you know your friend the big old dead. I drink them in moderation. I don't drink them every day. So all you health food junkies who don't drink Coca-Cola and who don't eat and all all these help food fanatics who don't eat hamburgers or steaks or drink a Coca-Cola every now and then when it's 86 degrees in the summertime, I feel sorry sorry for you because the big O sure does and my sugar's perfect. Check mine today. Mine was 90. Perfect. Good healthy sugar. Glucose level is 80 to 120. Without further ado, let's talk about the Coca-Cola. On May the 8th, 1886, Dr. John Pemberton P-E-M-B-E-R-T-O-N. Dr. John Pemberton sold the first glass of Coca-Cola at Jacobs', Jacobs Pharmacy in downtown Atlanta, Georgia. So it, the first Coke was sold by Dr. John Pemberton. He was a doctor. He sold it in 1886 at Jacobs Pharmacy in Atlanta, Georgia. That's very in interesting history to me. I always love the history behind the products. How about you, my friends? It makes it more interesting, more entertaining, Thanks for watching the Big O Show, and it's not officially the Big O Show until I do this. <laughs> Two honks from a horn. That's the, officially the Big O Show. Hope everyone's had a wonderful day. I have. If this is your first time viewing my channel, please subscribe, and please push that notification bell. Push all, so you get all notifications if I upload any future videos. So in 1886, this jewel, this wonderful refreshing beverage, was invented in Atlanta, Georgia by Mr. Pemberton. And the first time I remember drinking a Coca-Cola, I was born in 68, was in 1973. Uh, it was November 1973. I turned five years old October 1973 because I was born in 68. My mother gave me a Coca-Cola. And back then, they came in the eight ounce glass bottles. They were slightly green tinted. And you'd open up these old Coca-Cola machines. On the left side, it had a narrow, a narrow window door and you would pull it open. First, you'd put your quarter in. Some of them was 15 cents. That's according on where they were located in Georgia. And you'd put your, most of them was 25 cents. You put your quarter in, open up the little narrow door with the metal ha uh, handle, reach in there and pull straight out. You'd pull straight out your eight ounce Coca-Cola in a slightly tin, tinted green bottle. And then you'd take an apparatus like this, but back then, this is, I have original bottle opener from the 60s, but this is a, a Canadian bottle opener. One of my friends on YouTube sent me from Canada. But you take and you open that old Coca-Cola on a hot summer day, and I love to get them out of the, I always try to target the drink machines that had the coldest Coca-Colas, because I, I always liked them with a little thin sheet of ice in them. In Georgia where I grew up, on a hot, humid summer day, there, there was nothing better than an ice cold Coca-Cola. And I remember my grandfather, uh, he'd get an eight ounce Coca-Cola. He'd get him a 25 pack, uh, 15 cent pack of Lance peanuts. I think there was a dime back then. And they were in a clear wrapper, blue. Usually they were Lance or planters, but most time they were Lance. And he would open them up and he would pour them down in his eight ounce Coca-Cola. And man, I tried it too, and, and it's good. Pouring your peanuts in a Coke, man, it's good. And I just drank one of these, I'd give it a 10. <clears throat> they taste sweeter for whatever reason to me in the plastic bottles, but in these glass bottles, man, they taste very refreshing. They're they're not too sweet for whatever reason in glass bottles. They have more fizz. It seems like they, they hold the carbonation better. The the cokes last longer in the glass bottles, and they just taste better because they don't pick up a they don't pick up the aluminum can taste or the plastic taste from a plastic bottle. So there you have it. Big O gives it a ten. Remember, it was invented, you got a sharp memory like me, in 1886 in Atlanta, Georgia, by Dr. John Pemberton at Jacobs Pharmacy, downtown Atlanta, Georgia. 
Now you know the rest of the story. No, I'm not Paul Harvey. I'm happy. I'm upbeat. I've got me another ice cold Coca-Cola to drink. That's what I'm talking about. And I bought this at the uh, convenience store next to my house, Zoomers. I think it was dollar seventy six a bottle, but it's well worth it. They taste uh, hundred percent better. Uh, you can buy a six pack in here in Walmart for about four forty. Six pack of them, the Coca Colas, but they're they're only eight ounce bottles. They're about four forty. Uh, I think they're about four fifty four somewhere in there at Food City. But I like these bigger bottles. I like you know I like the way they taste. Uh, I mean, they don't taste no different than 8 ounce glass bottles. But if, if you like them in a bottle like me, let me know in the comments down below. And this is the 12 ounce, I'm making sure, the 12 ounce bottle. And of course, this one's made in Mexico. These tall 12 ounces, for whatever reason, most of them's made in Mexico. But you can't, you can't taste, no, taste no difference. I've, I've tried 8 ounces made in Atlanta, Georgia, and, and the ones from Mexico, there's no difference in the taste. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed. Thanks for taking the time out of your busy day to, to out of your busy day to watch the big O show. Now let's go in here and do some shopping, my friends. I'm a YouTube food reviewer, item reviewer, restaurant reviewer, and a blogger. I do it all. Those four things. Restaurant reviews, food reviews, item reviews, and blogs. Four things. Semis, I can't blame them parking for free. Better than and they got big uh, places, sleepers in the, these semis. I've got my ASO turned down on my Canon camcorder, so it shouldn't be grainy. Because they even though they've got street lights out here, they're not very, very, very bright, really. Thanks for watching Big O's Out. I'll see you in the next video. Guess what? It's the end of the <laughs> Big O Show. Drink your nice cold Coke. That's what I'm talking about. Big O's Out.